are Jerry and Diana. I have von Hippel-Lindau, a rare genetic disorder that causes tumors to grow in different parts of the body. Last week, we flew 2,700 miles from Seattle, Washington to Washington, D.C. for me to have surgery at the National Institutes of Health, NIH. Yesterday, I had a robotic left partial nephrectomy to remove two tumors on my kidney. Let's see how I'm doing. 20 minutes to eight. The doctor came in on rounds already, said I'm doing good. I let them know about my eye and they want me up three or four times today. And then the nurse said that that's not a problem that's gonna happen. I got a new nurse today. And she said, I'm gonna have a good day. Day one, we've got vital signs every four hours, pain management, out of bed, Foley care, and the incentive spirometer every hour, 10 times. This is the incentive spirometer. This meter comes up and this one comes up and you see how well you're able to inhale and it's uncomfortable but this is the key to not getting pneumonia i'm not getting pneumonia so swollen from the surgery. They inject you with carbon dioxide and it is still in my face. I did three laps. Jerry took a picture of me going for a walk. My tray just came. I'm still on clear fluids. I was so disappointed when they brought me the snack pack of Jello because I can buy my own snack pack of Jello. When I go to a hospital, I want hospital Jello. And then I ordered the lemon and it's real hospital Jello. Look at it. It almost looks like a urine sample. Perfect, so happy. The only way it would be better if it was in squares. Don't you think? Little squares of jello, that had cubes, that would be even better. I got a vegetable broth and a chicken broth so I can mix them together. And they brought me a straw so I don't even have to manage the spoon without spilling. And Jerry, what you doing? I'm reading. Uh, he's reading. So, oh, a sunset in Maryland. It's Friday night. 9 o'clock Eastern Time is 6 o'clock Pacific, so that means getting baked with crystals on. I have been on clear liquid diet for a couple of days, so looking at baked goods is going to be a little bit of a punishment. But tomorrow, Saturday, I am supposed, it's going to be day two, and I am supposed to get rid of all of this tomorrow. I'm going to get rid of the IV, and then I'm going to get rid of, I have a bag for Foley and a bag for a stent. So all of that is supposed to go away tomorrow and I'll be like a free little bird in the hospital. Good morning. It is day two. It is Saturday. I think. It feels like I've been here forever. And today I got to disconnect my IV. So I have an IV start but it is not connected to the pole, which means no more beeping, which is going to be so nice. And I get to order from a regular menu, so I've ordered some food, so I get to eat some normal food. It's just nine o'clock, so Jerry's not even here yet. So once Jerry gets here, um, we'll get to eat my tray of real food, and um, except made it's hospital food, so I don't know how real it is. So now I'm just waiting. I have a Foley catheter and a stent. And so I talked to the doctor this morning. He was going to get permission from my surgeon to see if he can remove those. If I get those off today, I'll have no strings on me, no wires, and I'll be able to get up and move about the room, which would be really nice because needing help every time you get out of bed is kind of the pits. Another beautiful day in Bethesda. So my gut's kind of hurt. So they offered me my full round of pain medication and I took it. I figure if I'm going to be getting up and moving around, I'm going to need it. So I'm on all my pain meds. It's only the second day in the hospital. I'll get off of them. It's not a problem for me. So where does it hurt? It's interesting. Of course, my face is still swollen a little bit. The air is still trying to escape in my shoulders. So my shoulders hurt. This one's hurting more than the other one. It goes back and forth. And then I have abdominal pain. Obviously, I have six incisions in my abdomen, and so 
it's gonna hurt and so I've got an ice pack going keep the pain down a little bit my first meal since lunch on the 22nd today's the 25th. it's the 25th yay food as Pinocchio would say I got no strings on me I got no strings on me I have my IV off I have the catheter out I have the stent out I can roam around like a free person. I'm cleaning my room. <laughs> Isn't that what you wait? It's like, oh good, I wanna do housekeeping. I just did six laps around the hospital, so. If I was at home right now, if I had the surgery in Seattle, I would definitely go home today. I mean, that's the way I feel. But I have to fly an airplane for four and a half hours for, you know, 2,500 miles or something. So they said it would be at least two more days. This is going to be a very strange time. Oh, recreation came. They have recreation therapy here and they brought me some paint by numbers and stuff. So I guess I'll get to work. And I'm seeing today, I can see, do you see how puffy my upper lip is? It's a weird thing. I got to order lunch. Make, build your own salad. So this is all the stuff I put on it. I got some feta. Yeah, see if there's salt and pepper. That'd be awesome. I didn't think about that. And I got balsamic vinaigrette, see? And then to make up for all the healthy food, I also got a oatmeal cookie and some nice crispy treats. That's weird, how did I get grapes? Are those the ones from over there? I had grapes this morning, I don't know where the grapes came from. Oh, well. but the avocado, look at the avocado, it looks nice. Hey, I was all awake and doing stuff and then I took my pain medicine and I just keeled over and fell asleep. It's like a darted animal. Recreation therapy came in and brought me some projects. So Jerry remembered about them. I kind of forgot. So now I'm working on one. I have all these paints that Glory loaned me. Good morning. It is Sunday. It's day three for my surgery. And I'm feeling a lot better. Decided to get dressed this morning before Jerry gets here. Surprise him a little bit, a little tiny bit of makeup on, and my hair came out pretty good from my shower yesterday, so I'm happy with that. Um, I've already seen the doctor today. I've seen my nurse a couple times. I had phlebotomy, do a blood draw, so it's been a busy morning. I ordered my food, and I'm going to get ready to get back into painting today and walking. Walking and painting, those are going to be my two jobs. Today, the kidney hurts right there it's kind of funny because i've had a lot of pain but it hasn't been the actual surgery site and today it feels like it's inside my abdomen and my kidney finally it's my kidney which you know they cut on it it should hurt it looks like a pretty day maybe i'll get outside time for a breakfast review i got cream of rice since i try to be low gluten i got a cranberry juice cocktail because i've been drinking nothing but grape juice but I'd try something different. I got some cinnamon and raisins to go on the and some margarine to go on the cream of rice and then in here <gasps> scrambled eggs and bacon and then they don't really have it on the menu but I got some avocado to go on my eggs. I have diced avocado to go on the tacos and to go on the salad and I kind of talked them into it for my eggs and so the gal on the phone was really nice and put it in and she didn't know if they'd do it, but they did. Yay, breakfast. This is quite the mess. I am being discharged this morning. It's 8.20 and the doctors came at 7.30 and said I could be discharged. So Joe will get here at 9, my meds will get here at 9.30. So I laid everything out and I'm packing what I can, but I'm gonna need Jerry's help. It, it, it hurts right, right here. <laughs> Oh, I'm having a little trouble doing it all by myself. It'd be nice to get out of the hospital. We're gonna move everything over to the lodge and then see if we can change our flight from Thursday to tomorrow. Well, we walked to the lodge, which was sort of a test of my ability to walk. We had to stop. <laughs> anyway, it's because of my um, diaphragm. I was injured in the surgery, so it uh, hurts a lot to take deep breaths. Anyway, we are here at the lodge now. I was gonna kind of show you what it looks like. It's decorated in sort of pastels colonial. It's very East Coast. This is not a decorating style that is done a lot on the West Coast. And there's Jerry's bed. 
this like light lavender see the carpet it's like the size of a regular small hotel room and then there's uh community areas uh, that look more like an airbnb but a lot of it's roped off because covid so things are a little bit wonky here also it turned out there was a form that my nurse had to sign that i was okay to go back to the lodge and you know she didn't even mention it so we're going to be going back to the clinical center today to get that form signed. Jerry's looking to get me ice for my ice bag. We don't know if that's a thing here, but we'll find out. Here's a little peek of the lodge that we're staying in while we wait to fly home. It's for families and patients of the hospital. We're all packed up, leaving the lodge. We only had one night here. And we're headed to the airport to go home. My sleep was kind of sketchy. I had to take two painkillers during the night to stay asleep and have an ice pack and have my knees up. There's Jerry and he's got my ice pack. Mm -hmm. 